We bought this used Dove LF55 from 2012. It's got four cylinders, 206 horsepower, it's an automatic with six gear, a turtle mode, cruise control, a bounty chair, a lot of hissing sounds. Fuel consumption of about 20 liters per 100 kilometers and we bought it with over 600,000 kilometers. Which is pretty reasonable for a truck like this, so they said. Both of us didn't know much about vehicles, but what we did know is how we wanted to build our new house. The main reason for buying this truck was its box. A lot of these boxes save weight by having a flimsy roof, but this box got strong solid walls made of polyester and wood, and the roof was already insulated with XPS foam. Both of us converted the van with curved wall, like all vans, but it's extremely annoying because all the sizes are different. This time we wanted a square box to make things a lot easier. First, we looked into these tiny box fans, but soon we learned it wouldn't fit all our crazy ideas. And that's why we got this truck. Here's a sketch of our first idea of the layout. Bear in mind, we're not architects, and we thought ourselves pretty smart for coming up with something like this. Luckily, my brother-in-law is a tiny house architect who helped us with the design. a lot better if you ask me. He explained your space is already small so you don't want to make it smaller by boxing yourself in with cabinets and whatnot. Make it feel spacious by creating long lines of sight. And so we did. I tried to make a couch earlier in my van, Charlie, but I found out the hard way that there's more to a couch than simply put pillows perpendicular. This time, instead, we decided to buy a couch and make use of the blank space underneath. A huge plan is to have a beamer up there and a projector screen on this side so that we have a home cinema. Again. To make it feel spacious, we decided to put all our storage underneath in sliding trays. On top, we put the kitchen and the table slash working desk. It's amazing to finally be able to cook together and or use the kitchen while the other continues working. Something we weren't able to do in Charlie or Casper. Both of us made the experience that making drawers and cabinets is extremely difficult and it takes a lot of time. So we opted for the most unoriginal idea of them all an IKEA kitchen. Well, if it works, it works, and we like the look of it. We love cooking, we love eating and drinking, and especially when we have people over. What we don't love is the dishes afterwards. I mean, it's fine doing it once or twice a day, but you have to do it a lot more if you live in a small space. Else, you get a humongous pile of dirty looking crockery which builds up over the day and which we can see from every corner of the house. That's why we went for this. Brilliant invention. Whenever we can, we try to multi-purpose our furniture. So also with this table. When we need a bit of space, we use it like this. When we're working, we use it like this. When we're eating outside, we use it like this. And when we have people over, we use it like this. In Charlie, we had to fold the couch and make our bed every night. In Casper, I had to sleep diagonally because the bed was small. And finally, finally with this one, we have a normal bed. Although this space is the smallest of them all, it's got the most fancy things. Starting with this spaceship looking thing, which is our shower. Charlie had an outdoor shower, which I used once, and Casper had no shower. But we decided to live full time in the truck. And therefore, 
We wanted a shower. The thing with a shower is, it's a lot of water. A regular shower uses around 10 liters per minute. And if you got one of these, it uses around 20 liters per minute. Even something labeled as an eco shower or water saving shower uses eight liter per minute. But everything under eight liters per minute doesn't feel as a shower anymore, does it? That's why we chose this fancy invention called Nivea shower. It sprays millions of water particles resulting in the feeling of a normal shower, but only with 2.8 liters per minute. It actually works perfect. It's warm, you get drenched completely. And a nice side effect is that it feels super soft because there are so many droplets. We're really happy with this shower. I'm saying all this without being sponsored whatsoever. We bought it second hand though, because it's pricey. How do you go do to you the guys toilet? Have a toilet? toilet? It's maybe the most asked questions towards fan livers. In Charlie, I pooped in the back. In Casper, we used a shovel and leg muscle. But both of these options weren't really sustainable for long term. Actually, we wanted to go with the compost toilet. A nature head, an air head, or whatever head. Sure, it's not perfect having to steer your poop around and throw your piss out every day. But at least you can do your business in private without impacting others or the environment too much. But we came across this invention called incineration toilet. It burns whatever you throw at it. And all that's left to clean is a bit of ash. Problem was that we didn't want to pay 5,000 euros for a toilet. But when we could find it second hand, we decided to give it a try. Is this one perfect? Definitely not. It uses gas and we have to run it after every session for like 30 to 45 minutes. But the fact that we don't really have to look after it, we have to clean it once a week. And the fact that it doesn't smell is a huge bonus for us. At first, we wanted to do our laundry at a launderette. This worked perfectly fine for us in our form of vans. But the mobility of a truck is of course a lot less than a smaller van. And I started to worry that this will become a hustle over time. When we found out about this washing machine, we were sold. Although it was costly at around 800 euros, in a matter of time it will pay itself back. Because now we are saving on launderette costs. We do have all these luxuries, but what is missing is a simple mirror. We set out to build the ultimate van, and I think we came pretty close. But no van build is perfect, and maybe that's the beauty of it. In the end, it shouldn't be about the van at all. It's a means to create a lifestyle we are excited about. Can it be done easier? Yes. Can it be done way cheaper? A hundred percent. Is it at least a good investment money-wise? Probably not. But for us, it's everything we want a house to be. And we like it.